Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm tearing it up and today is Mud Masking Monday. Uh, it's something new that I wanted to try to do and I kind of want to like rejuvenate my skin and exfoliate it and like introduce it to some good stuff to make it like shine and like, you know, welcome people like, hello, how you doing? Okay, moving on. Um, so I got these mud masks at Rue 21 and they were only like a dollar, like a dollar ninety nine. And I'm only gonna do one because it would defeat the purpose to do more than one. And because you're only supposed to like do it like once a week or whatever. So I might make this like a weekly thing or like a um, every other week. Um, so yeah, like why it's like on my face. Like in the meantime, I'll like entertain you with some like cool facts about me maybe or like just some random shiznit. So. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna put my hair back though because I don't want the stuff to get in my hair because that would be a mess and no one wants a mess in their bed because <laughs> I'm on my bed right now. Um, oh yeah, and the reason why these are in my ears um, is because I found them and I wanted to put them in my ears, so I did. Uh, my ears are already pierced and I used to have them, um, but... Yeah, my ears aren't really used to it, so. Let's go, let's begin the mud masking. Let's begin the mud masking. <laughs> Took me a while to get it open. I'm probably gonna speed this part up really fast. Um, this mask is non-drying, so it's not gonna like dry and like crack or anything. Which is good, because um, non-drying, it is in the moisture. To keep your skin, not to make to not. Uh, yeah, it definitely says to avoid your eyes, so let's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's not do that, Taryn. Let's put it on. Carefully. Well, even though I didn't want my hair getting it, what's my hair doing getting it? Put you hair! Put you back for a reason! Way more in here. Oh, this is just a bunch of goop. Alright. Just says avoid eyes and lips. Oh, you put it on your neck. It says you can put it on your neck, too, so. Might as well. Huh, might as well. That's what I say. Might as well. Put it everywhere. You know, you know. Alright. Make it fun. Even me. Okay. I'm gonna go get a towel and, um, wipe it off my hands for now. Bye bye Ta-ta! <laughs> I don't have an explanation for that, so. So why this mud mask is mud masking away on my face, because it doesn't dry. Um, I put the timer on. Um, well, I didn't really put the timer on. I just kind of looked at my laptop and was like, what's this time? Added 15 minutes, so it gets this time. So at this time, I'll wash it off. Math is important. Stay in school, kids. Okay, so. Um, when I came home from break, I found, um, sorry, my phone's like dying and it's telling me that. I found my journal from the eighth grade <laughs> and it, yeah, it was for a class. That's why it says like, um, F block on it and stuff. And I read through it and I think it's hilarious. Um, I'll point out some of the cool, um, cooler pages cause some of them are just, eh. Oh, I wrote a letter to Santa and since it was like just Christmas, like, a few weeks ago. I'm going to read it out loud. This letter was written on December 20th, 2007. Okay. Dear Santa, I've been a very good girl this year. I believe that. For Christmas, I would like a digital camera. Fun fact, I got one. Fun fact, it was stolen from a dance in the locker I left it in. Digital cameras are awesome! I wrote it in all capital letters, so I had to shout. So you could get the point across. Okay. I would also like a scrapbooking thing, which I got and I never made a scrapbook out of, yet. I would also like some games for my Nintendo DS. I loved that thing. It was pink and it was really cool. Anyway, House in North Pole. I bet you is, I bet you it is really cold up there. 
you are probably busy making sure everything's okay and the elves are working hard to make toys for all of the good girls and boys. I am going to leave you cookies and milk for Christmas and possibly carrots for the reindeer. Look out for you, reindeer. Got you, Rudolph. You're the real MVP. Um, you must be exhausted after you deliver, you deliver all of the presents. How can you go around the world so fast in one night? You probably have a high-tech sleigh. I hope that you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love and always, Taryn Poe from Bonzo, Massachusetts. I should not have said that out loud because now anyone can come find me. You know what I have stuck in my head? Like, I don't even know the name of the song. I don't even know, like, the majority of the words. I don't really know is the chorus and it goes like... I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> like that's what they've been playing in my head all day and it's like annoying me. Speaking of music, I like love music. Um, I'm actually wearing a band shirt right now. Um, whoa, brightness man. Fierce. Oh, I look so perfect this angle. <laughs> that was really egotistical, but like lighting does wonder. Wow, I have mud mask in my hair. So I wanted to um, put my Spotify on shuffle and just have like 10 songs play and play the first like few seconds of the songs just so you guys got like a better idea of what kind of music I listen to we could like jam together for a few seconds so obviously I have to pick the first one um because you can't just click shuffle so I picked Don't by Ed Sharon I love him so much, especially thinking out loud. Oh. Alright. So on shuffle, we're just gonna click next. Yes! Okay, this song is called The Curse of Curves. That's by Cute is what we aim for. Oh my god, I'm not okay, my My Chemical Romance, yes! I can't dance, really. Especially on webcam. Like, how do you webcam dance? This song is called Lose One Friend by Hotel Books. And it's song. It's like, it's a song. It's music, but it's like not sung. It's like spoken word poetry with like music behind it. I think it's really like deep and like inspiring and like hits me hard in the feels, you know? The fifth song is everything I ask for from the main. They're going on tour in the spring and I want to go so bad. They're coming to Boston. They're going to the House of Blues. Little things. The sixth song is Not Good Enough for Truth and Cliche by Skate the Fate. This song is my jam. It's such a good song. Roddy played this. Every time I've seen him live, I think he's played this song. Whether he was... Yeah, and it wasn't... I've never seen Escape the Fate live when it was Ronnie. I've, um, the first time I saw Escape the Fate was the Bear the Hatchet tour when Fair Falling in Reverse and Escape the Fate kind of were like... Okay, we'll bury the hatchet. <laughs> Seventh song is Shadow Moses by Bring Me the Horizon. I love Bring Me the Horizon, um, especially their new song, Drown. I um, I know a lot of people are saying that like they like their old old song, old old sound better than like than their new music. But like I'm kind of with the opposite because I've I didn't listen to the I didn't listened to them when there was just their old music, so um, I became a fan um, during the Shadow Moses album. So, 
I love um, Shadow Moses and the new song. And I like the direction they're going in. I heard their new song on the radio one day and I was like, bring me the rest on the radio. Like, mom, dad, be quiet. Like, turn the song off. <laughs> the eighth song is Heavy Head by Elder Brother. I love Elder Brother. They were actually um, on Warp Tour this past summer and they played the, uh, I think the Full Sail University like acoustic, acoustic basement tent. It's just really good um, music that like kind of makes you think music about like your own life and like, I don't know. I, I dig it. Alright, the next song is Clairvoyant by the story so far! Oh my god. I'm sorry I get so excited when I like say the names of the titles. It's just music like... It speaks to me. It speaks to my soul. Like, as silly and cheesy as that sound, it's like true. You know. Oh, feels, here they come! Eat my peanut, my my holiday peanut M and M's and cry. The last song is "Sing" by Ed Sheeran. Well, I think I I say Ed Sheeran because that would rhyme. "Sing" by Ed Sheeran. It's Ed Sheeran, I think. My foot hurts, I'm gonna stretch it. Uh, ow, it cracked! Do you like my kitty? Um, poster? Frame? Picture frame? Yeah. I think it's been way more than 15 minutes and I'm procrastinating and should put, rinse this off. Talk about a new obsession of mine and if you've watched my videos from the beginning, you know I have um, an unhealthy obsession with pe New York peppermint patties. Well, since like the first, since the pe ah, I can't speak for the fat oh, for the past few months, I've been really obsessed with um, peanut M and M's. Um, what? I never bring this up ever. Sorry about that. Just me and my brother sharing secrets, you know. Um. But yeah, I have been recently obsessed with peanut M&M's. Um, these are the holiday kind that I just got the other day. Because at CVS they were having a sale. Like all their Christmas um, items were like 75% off. I got this whole bag for like a dollar. So I got a few bags. And I might have already eaten one. Ate one. Eaten is not a word. So I was in New York the other day. And um, we went in the Walgreens when we were in the city. And I got this beanie, right? And it says New York on it, and it got a little pom-pom at the top, and it's fresh to death, mm, mm, fierce, mm, peace and pout, peace, love, happiness, mm, mm. I also wanted to talk about this really cool shirt I got in the mail today. Um, it's a merch shirt for the band Like London. See? Like London. They just released their latest single called Worthless. You should go check it out on their band camp and buy it. Um, it might be free, but you can give a donation. I um, gave a donation of a dollar. I think that's a great amount um, to give for the song because it's worth it. Um, unlike the title, Worthless. I have to go wipe this off. So I went downstairs and I washed off the mud mask and my skin feels so like soft and I shouldn't touch it because the oils on like your hands are always like dirty and full of like bacteria because we're always touching things. So like don't touch your face. It's really bad. Um, like yeah my skin feels nice and like soft and rejuvenated and um hopefully it like um you know helped cleanse my face and like let it breathe and like because like wearing makeup all the time is really good for your face so i try not to put any on if i'm not leaving the house um i put a little on because i was making a video I'm like i want to look a little nice you know um but I hope you enjoyed Mud Mask Monday. I hope you all go check out Like London because um, they're a really awesome band. They're playing a show in Ohio on Saturday, um, which is the 17th, I believe, uh, which is this Saturday in Perrysburg at the American Legion Hall. 
Um, I think it's free to go as long as you just break a donation of a dollar or more. Wait, so technically that wouldn't make it free, it would to make it a dollar or more. Um, so if you're in the Ohio area, definitely grab a few friends and go and check out um, all the bands. Uh, like London's performing, Marshall Travers performing, um, Conway Band's performing, and then one other band's performing uh, that I don't really remember the name of. I'm gonna go look it up. The name of the last band is Conant Street. Oh! Ah! My, um, ah! Oh. Damn. But yeah, they all look like amazing bands, so you all should definitely go check them out if you're in the area because who doesn't love a concert for like a dollar? Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna honestly really buckle down and start making videos more often. I have a lot of ideas and things I want to get done with this channel. So yeah, thanks for checking me out. Uh, tell your friends. Subscribe. Peace, love, and happiness. Love you. Bye. Mwah!